All right, what's up? It's been a while. Um, the Steam Deck Developer Conference. I watched that, and my tutorials are wrong, sort of. The problem is, so there was a question, and it was, does it have an immutable, like a read-only immutable file system? And the answer was yes. What that means on its own is that none of my stuff works because you can't, uh, you can't modify the file system. They also said there was a developer mode that you could enable to uh, toggle that off so that you could modify the, the, uh, the file system and download packages like a normal distribution is what they said. And then at the end, they kind of threw that off again. And I'm not really entirely sure what's going on. At the end, uh, a similar question was asked again, and they said there will be other methods to install non-Steam software on the deck. That can be Flatpak or other methods. Or Flatpak is, it's like sandboxed. It has its own folder, and then all the dependencies are with it in its folder. It would make sense why that would be easy to install if the uh, file system isn't meant to be modified. But then the problem comes where he says, and other methods. And now I'm lost again. So does that mean Pac-Man is enabled, but that every time you update, it will be removed? Because they said the updates are done as OS images. So when he says, and other methods, does that mean that like Pac-Man isn't disabled and that you can install it, but since uh, updates are done as entire OS images, that whatever changes you do with that will be overwritten. And then if that's the case, does that apply to Flatpak too? Because av right after they said that, he said there there's some caveats for like how persistent are the things that you install and the methods by which you might need to do that. So are Flatpaks persistent? And then maybe Flatpak is persistent because that would be easy to like have on a separate partition or however they do that so that not everything's overwritten. Because I don't think they're going to overwrite games every update. So they definitely have a, they're going to have a method around that persistence problem for games. So are they going to extend that to Flatpaks is my question. And they didn't really have any solid answers uh, to at least the questions I got after they mentioned all this. And now I'm kind of left in a spot where I'm not sure kind of what will work. Because I can do guides on how to do everything through Flatpak, but I don't know if that would be any more persistent. Because I imagine they're going to have some... They have to have some way to have persistent packages past updates. Because I don't think they would market this as it's just a PC if there weren't persistent way to install things that weren't... that were non-Steam. So I think I'm going to assume that flat packs are persistent by default. And I guess all my guides going forward, unless I specify that you need developer mode, we're just going to do through flat pack. Because I don't think there's anything we can't do that I've done already through fat Flatpak. And uh, I guess for the old videos, um, I'll go mark them as developer mode only or give a warning that it won't be, none of the changes will be persistent. So that's where we're at right now. Uh, thanks for watching. If you liked it, smack that like button. All right, uh, you can't see the ratio anymore because YouTube is dumb, but I can still see the ratio and I want it to be as high as possible. All right. Uh, yeah. And then let me know what you want to see next. Uh, do you want more Steam Deck tutorials uh, uh, with uh, with flat packs? It's, that seems to be the uh, the default method of persistence or, or other just tech related stuff. I can do that, too. I've been doing that. It doesn't really matter either way to me. Uh, just l let me let me know what you want to see. And uh, that'll be it for this video. So I'll see you later.